Good morning all and welcome to TinyRots.com. Today we'll be making corrugated rusting siding, which is made out of aluminum, which we'll crack out and we'll be starting with PC board acid from Radio Track. You will need a rubber pair of gloves, you will need a pair of squeezers, a bucket of water, and a tray that's made out of plastic to put the acid in. What we're going to do now is you're going to take the acid, make sure you shake it well. Before you use it, make sure you put your gloves on because the stuff will eat your hand. And make sure you're in a well vented area like outside. Because inside the house, the fumes will get to you and you'll be having some bubbles. Okay, now I'll pour the acid into the pan. Not need much, just in order to work with. Reusable, when it's done, you can put it back in the container. Now, once it's in there, you take the aluminum and you put it in the acid. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to wait till it starts bubbling around the aluminum. The aluminum will start bubbling. Once the aluminum starts bubbling and smoking, it's time to take it out and put it in the water bath. So, as you watch, you'll see that it's going to start bubbling soon. Move around a little bit to make it run out. It takes a while for the acid to heat, about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. But once it heats up, then the acid will be fast. You can use as many as you want it on a time. But if you leave it in there too long, it will put holes in the aluminum. If you leave it in there for a little bit, you can have like a half sheeted area, or you can have a full sheeted, or you can have a semi, which is gray. The acid will make it look black, but then it will turn to gray when it dries the brown rust. So it's not smoking yet. Remember not to touch the stuff with your hand. Wear gloves at all times. This is the hard part, waiting. But you can also make it out of a lot of other material. Like you can use the biggest side material. You can paint it a color if you want and then put it in the acid and it will give you the stain effect with rust. You can see you can see the bubbles here starting to come up. Very soon the whole area is gonna start bubbling like that and start smoking. Right now, the, what they did, the acid starting to attack the PC, the uh, aluminum to oxidize it. We use these to make PC boards. Now you see it's starting to bubble more. Once it starts eating, it goes fast. Now she's starting to burn more. Now she's popping, see? Now she's starting to take the effect of the whole side. Now you want to burn, you got maybe about 5 seconds to 10 seconds in there. Depending on how you want to cake it. Now you can see here the green is starting to cut through already. So if you want a light area like this here, you can cake it out now. Which will look like that. And you put it in the water. The water will rinse it. That's what it looks like when it's done. Now you just put it on the towel and let it dry. Uh, like I said, if you cake the second part now, Now I'll put the bigger part in the acid. Whoop, that's the water, my mistake. And there's the rest of it. You can see now it's starting to bubble and taking effect. I'll let it in there for about another 30 seconds. Now this you can do half and half. You can make it look like it's new, it's just about ready to go bad. If you want to take it out now, you can see the effect, throw in the water quick. Now you have a nice greenish looking effect to the blackage. And when that fully dried, it will turn more like a greenish color to a grayish color, depending on the aluminum you have. Okay. This is what the model looks like with the finished effect with the side. And there is no coloring on there whatsoever. It's just the photo acid that was eating up the board and it going to dry. Now you see each pattern is a little different in color. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at KennyVosh.com. Thank you.